There is no sports league unlike it anywhere in the world, where cartoons and football come together. This is the United States Cartoon Football League, celebrating its 40th anniversary. understand. Someone sabotaged my trap. And Daphne is right here. Daphne! Hey! Daphne! Hey. And I heard every word, Fred. Wish you didn't care for Daphne, huh? Well, wait, Daphne. You didn't hear the whole thing. <laughs> Save it for your traps. I think this proves it's too dangerous for anyone to go on stage tomorrow night. It's time to cancel the tour. Wrong. I'm going on tomorrow, and I'm gonna rock! Oh, perfect. Glad we're all on the same page. Wow. Could this get any weirder?
Greetings, cartoon and football fans, and especially fans of literary fiction. This is Bob Mozart of the USCFL Network welcoming you to this contest as we will rate and review stories written by Robbie Graham about his creation and the world's newest superheroine, Fashion Girl. Here's how this contest works. Fashion Girl and only Fashion Girl is participating and football scoring will once again be used. The scores we give will also be done by a percentage rate. 120 points is the maximum score and 100% will be the maximum percentage. There will also be an excerpt courtesy by, of Alexa the Amazon app. As we begin round 13, Fashion Girl has a score of 82 points out of a possible 96 and a percentage rate of 68.3%. This week the Style Chicks will rock with the Hex Girls in a story based on uh, a previously uh, told uh, story. After we take a brief pause, we will begin round 13 of The Adventures of Fashion Girl, Finding Crime with Style, and this week's story, Redemption. Final Adventures of Fashion Girl, Book 6, Redemption, Chapter 1. When Fashion Girl is working on a, shoot, a photo shoot in Milan, the rock band The Hex Girls asks to meet with her. They tell her that they are the daughters of the original Hex Girls and recount the story of how Fashion Girl's mother Daphne became a member of the band named Crush to work undercover during an investigation. It was during this time when Daphne became abducted by the villain named the Phantom that Fred Jones realized the depth of his feelings for Daphne. The fashion, the Hex Girls asked Fashion Girl to appear as Crush in one of their performances and Fashion Girl agrees. Chapter 2 The Hex Girls help Fashion Girl come up with her stage costume as Crush. When the style chicks see her, they do not at first recognize her. Chapter 3 Fashion Girl calls her father, Fred Jones, to chastise him for never telling her the story of her mother having been a rock star. He explained that Daphne becoming crushed was due to her not hearing his full declaration of his feelings. Since it was simply a misunderstanding, he did not want to dwell on it. He tells Fashion Girl that he is looking forward to her performance. Chapter 4 Tiffany goes into labor and at an Italian hospital is delivered of three girls. She gives them the middle names of the hex girls. Her husband Edward joins her the next day. Fashion Girl rewrites the lyrics of the song that she is working on. Chapter 5 Fashion Girl enjoys performing on stage with the hex girls and her song pays tribute to each of the style chicks verse by verse. Fashion Girl invites the Heck Girls to appear in her next fashion show. After everyone returns to Colonia, Penny gives birth to her son a few months later. Fashion Girl explains to the style chicks how, eventually, she and each of them will retire from crime fighting to re be replaced by their children. We will now briefly pause before returning for the wrap-up and scoring. Later that evening, back at the hotel, Fashion Girl was standing outside the lobby entrance back in her normal outfit. Sephora saw her standing outside and went to join her. She asked, Are you okay, Daphne? Fashion Girl answered, Sure, I'm fine. I know what my mother said to my father after her gig, I guess my rock star days are over. But you know something, Cindy? It's perfectly fine with me. 
I think my mother is looking down at me right now smiling from ear to ear. Sephora said, I'm sure she is, Daphne. It was such a thrill to sing with you. Was it your idea to include a verse for all of us? Fashion Girl replied, yes it was, and Rachel didn't mind at all. Sephora said, Daphne, I remember what you said to me the night of my ceremony six years ago, after tonight Cindy, you will see and do things that most people can only dream of. I think of all I have done since then, I was a cheerleader for the Miami Dolphins, a ballet dancer with the Metropolitan Opera, helped four girls achieve their full potential, and tonight. Plus all the other cases I've helped you solve over the years. It makes being a style chick worthwhile. Fashion Girl replied, Cindy, I hope that you realize that being a style chick is great, but like tonight it's a gig. When little Daphne turns 18, she will take my place. And in that time, someone else will take your place, Tiffany's place, and everyone else's place. However, that won't happen for a while. Just enjoy it while you can because when it's over, it's over. Sephora said, I understand Daphne. No matter what happens later in life, I can look back on my youth with happy memories, and you made it all possible. Thank you for everything. Sephora went back inside the hotel. Fashion Girl did the same thing moments later. This was an interesting story that paid tribute to Fashion Girl's mother Daphne and her days as a rock star named Crush. Fashion Girl got to try out a new occupation and she solidified her plans for the future of the style chicks. She also got to better understand the relationship between her parents. This story also had a crossover with the Hex Girls, always a welcome bonus. I give this story a 7. As always, viewers are invited to submit their own reviews and scores. The book, The Final Adventures of Fashion Girl by Robbie Graham, is available on Amazon.com. Tune in next week for another Fashion Girl story review. And to remind, the new and 40th anniversary season of the USCFL started last week, so look for upcoming postings of the exciting games. This is Bob Mozart of the USCFL signing off. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older, but the media man begs to differ. Judging by the hole in the satellite picture, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I'll never get.